hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a what's in my hospital bag video and if you're new to my channel welcome I just wanted to let you know that I am 37 weeks pregnant with my third boy and this will be my third c-section um, I am really excited and yeah so I wanted to go ahead and pack I know my c-section date which is going to be March 29th however just in case I wanted to pack early I wanted to be prepared so I went ahead and packed up my bag and now I did want to say that I have had all three c-sections so I feel like I know exactly what I need what I want to bring and um, yeah so I think I got it down pretty good like I know exactly what I want to bring might look like a lot of stuff if you have natural births this might look a little bit um, like a lot of stuff however with c-sections um, I plan to stay in the hospital Wednesday through Saturday however I'm hoping to get out by Friday but if I have to I'll be staying Wednesday through Saturday so I had to bring enough stuff and um, I'm an overpacker, so I just really like to bring a lot of stuff. I like to be prepared. I'd rather have more stuff than I need than not not having enough. Um, that actually happened with me with Brantley. I didn't have, I wasn't really prepared for a C-section, so that wasn't that good. But um, yeah, so I think I, I think I've got it down pat. I think I've um kind of mastered the art of c-section packing but um yeah so i'm excited to share this with you guys i also wanted to mention that there will be nothing for kyle because he will be staying home with the boys while i am at the hospital with the baby it just this is how we did it with deacon this is how we're gonna do it this time it's just it's just more um calming for me and more relaxing for me to know that the boys are home with their daddy and um, I'm fine at the hospital with the baby I have the nurses and help and, and it actually gives me a lot of time to bond with the baby and um, I breastfeed so I think it helps like just to have that one-on-one -on -one time with the baby really soak it in and um, I really enjoyed that with Deacon so that's why we're gonna go ahead and do it this time and again I just really want the boys to be home with daddy and it's just better for us it just has worked out for us so that's the plan so he has nothing he's not gonna be staying with me however he will be there a lot but anyways so, so the bag that I am bringing is the Jujube Jujube Superstar looks like this and this is in the print Queen of the Nile and this is what I'm bringing um, Right here in the front, I don't have anything. There's like a little zipper pocket. And then in the back, there's like a snap pocket. I don't have anything in there either. But um, yeah, so let me put the camera down a little bit so you guys can see better. I really, really like how it has like this, the U shape in this bag. But yeah, so it opens like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have packed up. Okay, so the first thing right on top, I just have this um makeup bag from target and it's by the orla kelly brand and i don't have anything in here right now but i plan to throw some makeup in here like maybe um a bb cream and eyeliner and mascara things like that i have another one too i'm not sure which one i'm going to use or what i'm going to do but i am going to um, bring some makeup just because you know it makes you feel a little bit better um to have a little bit of makeup on after you just had a baby so i am going to be bringing these next i just have this little notebook that i got at walmart and it literally just it's just a plain knit notebook and it's just in case i want to write anything down and i have a pen with it and yeah next i just have a plain yellow folder and this is just in case I have to bring some stuff home that um, yeah that I want to bring home that they take give me and here I'm going to keep like cables and like my phone charger and my computer charger and then I have this um, little jujube set piece with this has like a little portable charger in it like one of those um it's like a little charging thing so I have one of those like an extra one of those I'll also be bringing like my camera and um, 
both my cameras. I have like a Nikon SLR and then I have my Canon G7X. So I'll be bringing both of those. So the next thing in here is another um, Orla Kelly bag. It just looks like this. And um, this is all of my toiletries. So I love this because it opens up nice and big, just like this. And I love it. And it has like the little hanging thing so you can hang it right up in the bathroom at the hospital. So I love that. And in here I just have some like shampoo and conditioner. I have some, I have a shower cap, a razor, a loofah. Um, what else do I have in here? I have this, the Righteousness um, Soap and Glory Body Butter. Soap and Glory Body Butter. Soap and Glory Body um, Shower Gel, which I will shower like every day. So I will need all that stuff. And then the razor is real tiny. It's like a real, I'll show you guys. I got this off Amazon. It's like the perfect little size razor. And that's just because I want to be able to shave my armpits. And then, um, like I was saying, shampoo and conditioner. So that's in that pocket. And then right here in the next pocket, I have some toothpaste, contact solution, contacts case. I have some Q-tips. I also have this toothbrush. It's like a foldable toothbrush that I got it from Target. And I got these um, natural deodorant wipes, which are awesome. If you've never tried these, these are so good. And um, I just don't wanna be too smelly like for the baby. Like I don't wanna be, I don't wanna smell like fragrance or anything. So, um, so yeah, those are more natural for the baby. And then I have some Honest Company uh, makeup remover wipes. I have my face cream and face wash, which is by um, Perfectly Posh. BFF um, face wash and lotion then in there I also had this wet brush it's just like a foldable wet brush um, looks like that it's like a full size but it's a travel one so it folds in half I think I got this at CVS or Target I showed you guys the q-tips and right up here in this last pocket I just have um, some Burt's Bee, or what is this called? Some Baby Ganics Lip and Face Balm, which is a super moisturizing, so I really love to bring that. And then some Basti, I don't even know how to say it, dry shampoo. And then I did bring some hairspray, I don't know why, because I definitely probably won't be using that, but um, some hair ties and um, bobby pins in this little like Q-tip container. Then I also have like a head wrap and some other hair bands, these other hair bands. I also have some gum, some gum in there. Thief spray because I will probably disinfect a little bit. And then, and then I also have some Burt's Bees chapstick also. So yeah, that's really what I have in there. Okay, so the next thing back here, I just have some snacks. I, um, when you have a C-section, you need fiber because it's, um, I'm not sure this is how it is with vaginal, but you need fiber because it's really hard to go number two afterward. So I have, okay, let me take it out so you can see. So I brought these ones. These are so good, you guys. And then these ones, salted caramel and dark chocolate. This is another fiber one bar. So this one, so good. See, so I just bought a couple of those because I know, you know, I'm going to need some fiber. And then I also got this little thing off Amazon. And this just has my breast pads in there, reusable breast pads. And then it also has my um, Mother's Love nipple cream. So it looks like that. The next thing I have in here are some slippers. These are the D 
These are by Jessica Simpson. I just got these at TJ Maxx. They were on sale and cheap, so I just picked these up. They do have like little grippies on the bottom. And yeah. I also brought some flip-flops. These are just old flip-flops. So I'll probably throw them out afterward. But that's for the shower. And then I saw this on somebody else's video um, to bring. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, it's just like a mirror, a travel size mirror, but it stands up. And I thought that was a really good idea in case like I need to do my makeup or something. I can sit in bed and do it. So I thought that was a really good idea. So I want to pick that up at the dollar store. Next, I also have my belly band. This one I got off Amazon. I will leave a link below for it, but um, I'm just obsessed with belly bands. I, they, these are amazing. After you have a C-section, like amazing. You need this if you have a C-section. Um, it just helps you when you feel like your insides are falling on the floor. So, yeah. Okay, so the next thing is just a like packing cube and I got it TJ Maxx and in here I just have um, two pairs of like these grippy socks that I got from uh, Target they just look like that and I have two pairs of them this one and then I also have some granny panties in here that you guys don't even need to see but I'm just not really that big of a fan of the mesh underwear. I know. I just don't really like it. Um, it just hurts like where my incision is. I feel like last time it kind of stuck to my incision. So I just didn't like it. So um, yeah, I'm not going to wear the, those mesh undies just because, I don't know, I just don't like them. So uh, next thing that I picked up, oh, and these and those undies are like double the size that I am just because then they're like huge and yeah next thing is just a nursing bra these are my favorite nursing bras they're from motherhood they are amazing and super super comfortable i wear them right now being pregnant because they're just so so comfortable and i really really love them so yeah i'll be bringing one of those the rest of the stuff is all closed so I'm just going to go ahead and hold up the rest of this stuff. Oh, and I forgot that I have this um, little spray in there. It's like a leave-in conditioner that was supposed to be in my toiletry bag. So I got to put that back in there. But um, Okay, so the next thing I'm bringing is this robe from Pink Blush Maternity. I absolutely love it. It is super comfortable. I've worn it like during my pregnancy and I just love it. It's super, super soft. And um, I will not be wearing that hospital gown for very long, let me tell you. I like to put on my own clothes and just be comfortable and feel a little bit, I don't know, pretty or something. I don't know. So, definitely bringing my robe. Then I have um, two shirts. These will be for going home. But they're really, really large. This one's a long sleeve. And it's really, really long and big and flowy. And then I'm not sure like how cold it's going to be or not, so I wanted to bring... Um, long sleeve and then I also picked up this short sleeve one it's just a black one and it has um, and it has like a little pocket right here but it's just a big baggy black t-shirt and it's super super long I got them both at Target and then and then I also am bringing my maternity leggings um, and these will be for going home also just so that I'm super comfortable so next I am also bringing um, these nursing camis and I like live in these when I'm nursing and after having a baby so yeah I brought one black cami this is another one same thing just a black nursing cami and then um, I also picked up this super cute nursing um, nightgown from Target and it looks like this and so I'll wear this one day with my maternity robe and yeah that'll be super comfortable but yet convenient um, with the the clips that you can pull down for easy boob access and then I also got this um, nightgown from Amazon it's just a plain black nightgown it's long well not too long probably comes right to my knees but I got it in a bigger size and it's very very big up top here so it'll be easy to again access the boob for nursing 
and um, with c-sections you definitely want gowns like nursing gowns because they're going to be doing a lot of checks and when they do that they push on your stomach and TMI but a lot a lot of blood will come out and it's gross and having pants on is just a pain when they're trying to do all that and check you a million times so I just found it a lot easier to wear nightgowns so that's what I brought two nightgowns and um, the first night I might end up wearing their theirs but yeah okay so then next I am bringing a like a mesh laundry bag that I got at TJ Maxx for like two dollars and I'm just bringing that so it's easier to just um, you know keep all my dirty laundry together so I don't have to worry about that um, when I get home like a big bag full of messy stuff I just want to be able to keep the laundry stuff together and the stuff I wear um, together so and then I also brought this tank top too. It's just a, it's actually a um, maternity tank top. I just brought that also, it's just super long. And I might wear that underneath one of the shirts when we go home. So the next thing I am bringing is my boppy because I cannot live without this, especially with C-section. It is just super nice to be able to put this around you. And, um, my boobs are right here, so literally like the baby lays here and it's so easy to nurse and it doesn't um, hurt your, your incision or anything like that. It's like the best thing ever. Like I love the boppy. And even when I go home, I'll use the boppy because I just love it. And I got this um, boppy cover off Etsy, so I'll leave a link below um, if you guys think this is cute and wanna check it out. <laughs> definitely, definitely need my boppy for nursing. And um, yeah. The next thing I'm gonna share with you guys is my um, the bag for the baby. So I am bringing my Fawn Design bag, which I absolutely love and I'm obsessed with. Um, but yeah, I love this bag so much. I've done like reviews on this bag, I absolutely love it. And um, yeah, so in the front and in the zipper pocket, I don't have anything right now. Um, this, back, this bag does have backpack straps. Like, this bag is the perfect diaper bag when you have multiple children. Like, I love it um, because of the backpack option, the messenger strap. It's just beautiful. And it's so easy to wipe down because the inside is leather, too. But anyways, okay. If you want me to do another diaper bag video of this, I definitely will after I have the baby. But, um, yeah, so in here is, like, everything for the baby. And right here on top, I just have a Wubbinub. It's the giraffe one. And um, I don't know if he's going to take this or not, but I wanted to bring it just in case. And then I also have my covered goods nursing cover. And um, this is really just going to be for the car seat when we leave so I can cover the car seat up. But you can use this for car seat, nursing, all that. And if I feel like I need to... Um, use it for nursing while I'm in the hospital. I will, but I don't really care if anybody sees me because it's natural. And um, I have nursed two other kids till they were two, so I feel very comfortable nursing. It doesn't bother me or anything. So um, yeah. So the next thing in here, I have two of these little sleeper gowns, and I know that these are really good because they're really easy to just like slip over the baby and they can do all, you know, check them and do everything for them, like check, do their bellies and do their stuff that they have to do in the hospital. So I wanted something that was easy for them to like lift up and, and do all that. So I just got these at Carter's. They were a two pack. So I got that one. And then I got this one. And I like these too because they do have like the little things on the end so you can just cover the baby's hands. You don't even need mitts or anything like that. So this one it says, mommy thinks I'm out of this world. And then I just brought this other one because it's a little bit bigger and I think he's going to be a big baby. So um, yeah, I just brought another one like this, just blue, another nightgown thing sleeper gown. I don't know what these are called. Um, but again, it has like the hand, little hand covers for his nails. And then next I brought this hat. This is from Target. And this hat, which is just a gray one. And then I brought 
this outfit because this is like a really little one. Actually, both the boys, um, Brantley and Deacon, both wore this when they were leaving the hospital. So, and then it does have the hand covers again, so I don't have to worry about that. They're just cute. And then I did buy him a new outfit, so I don't know if he's gonna fit into this one. It's a little bit bigger, but it looks like this. I got it from, I got it from Target, and then this cute little hat to go with it. Super cute. And then I brought one bandana bib, just in case. And then I also brought a couple burp cloths. These are actually the um, pre-folds for the, um, for cloth diapers, but I love these for burp cloth. So brought two of those. I use those a ton in the hospital with Deacon, so. And then I also brought two swaddles. This one is from Baby Olay, and it just says, um, Love you to the moon and back all over it. And this one is just a blue one. And this is um, Aiden and an I. And then, then I also brought three pairs of socks. I hate the socks that the hospital has, so I brought my own. And then since this is gonna be my diaper bag later on, I did kind of pack it with some other things that I'm probably not gonna need, like trash bag things and water wipes, which I actually might use these in the hospital because um, they like to like wet a, wet a cloth and use it on the baby, but this is basically the same thing. So this is way natural. So I feel comfortable using this on the baby. I also brought these just because I did bring the wub and and if it gets yucky, got some passy lights. And then I brought my, um, just a tender tush from Young Living. It's like a diaper rash cream. I just brought that. Um, and like I said, I'm probably not gonna need this stuff, like especially even diapers, but I brought um, three diapers just because they're cute and if I wanna put them on them, on him, then I will, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna need the diapers or the wipes or the or the um, diaper rash cream, but that's okay. Just have it just in case. So that is everything that is in my hospital bag. Oh, one more thing I wanna share with you guys. I am gonna be bringing this. It is the Bubba, um, cup i got this at targets 32 ounces it is the best i love drinking out of this thing it's helped me with my pregnancy like drink just making sure i drink enough water and everything so i am going to go ahead and bring this and yeah i think that's everything i've been i use it like non-stop right now so but yeah so that's it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and if you have any other um you know things that you think i should bring leave it below and um because i might be missing something i do have mommy brain so maybe i'm missing something i don't know but um all right you guys i will see you in my next video bye guys. <laughs>